Good morning, everybody. Taking a very short, about a two mile hike. I'm behind the, the house, you might hear some noise. There's a steel refinery here behind. And they build railroad tracks and wrought iron. I lost a video not too long ago. I had built, a, I had uploaded a video about my haversack, the German bread bag. Very small bag, it's in a flecked tarn camo. Um, and I am going to be very, very busy today, so that's why I'm just taking this short hike. I'm going to upload the short video, and I'm going to get busy. Uh, right now, we are at... It's about 6.30 in the morning. Sun is not over the mountains yet. And we are at 55 degrees with about 38% humidity. And it's going to be a warm one today, guys, down here in the south. Southwest. Going to be in the mid-80s. But oh well, I already saw a bunch of dove, I saw two cottontails, and it's all good food. And I'll bring you back, let me sit up, and uh, I'm on the trail actually, I'm not off the trail. And the river's just right there past our dry river, remember? It's just past those willows right there. Let me sit up and then I'll bring you back. For all of you guys, uh, there were some guys that had commented on the on that video, very nice comments I, I got, and I don't know what happened to the video, it just kind of disappeared somewhere. So uh, I didn't bring a tape measure, I did bring the scale. Uh, I will put the measurements of the bag when I get back home in the description. It's right there somewhere. And uh, there goes a nice big hawk. He's looking for breakfast, he's looking for one of those cottontails. <clears throat> and uh, yeah let me get set up for all you guys that uh, like gear videos and we'll get into it I'll bring you back in just a bit are you guys back with me welcome back all right let's get a weight on this thing and uh, let's see it's situated here <laughs> And we're just under just about 10 pounds I'm gonna call that 10 pounds is 10 pounds 11 ounces um, and, it, and it's loaded and I do have uh, some dog spray with me I am on federal property and there's no motor vehicles or weapons allowed so, we'll turn this off. Like I said, the measurements I'll have for you guys later in the description. Apologize for that. Uh, let's see where you can get some a good view here. I've been having tripod issues lately, so I think I got her going okay this is a German bread bag like I mentioned it has a, a permanently attached single strap it's non adjustable I'm five nine and a half so I mean I have no problems with it I can throw it across my shoulder or just let it hang from one shoulder I do have a Maxpedition uh, accessory strap pad it works great. I mean, for 10 pounds, I mean, it's not too bad. I do have one of these bunchy type things just in case I need it. And uh, this has been repaired. This is about a $30 bag, I believe, in eBay. I'll put the the link below also as well. And it, this one, they are used. Uh, a friend of mine got one and his was like immaculate like this one you can see a little bit of wear and you can see some stitching repairs here and there you know I don't know how well the camera is picking that up but uh, it's a great great little bag for like what I'm doing right now for a morning hike afternoon hike maybe even a day hike you know uh, like I'm not a bushcrafter you guys know that I'm an outdoorsman but if you're a skilled uh, Bushcrafter, you don't need a lot of gear. This is a great little bag. It's like 
11 by 11 it's I know it's under it's not more than 12 by 12 inches it's very very nice it's very durable canvas clips are work great down here I have a tarp and a cheap smog and I do have this tied up with paracord and these are Canadian gem nuts so can you see that I think I'm gonna raise the tripod a little bit because this can get a better view of all the junk I carry all the junk there so here's the shimog inside I carry the famous Walmart 5x7 tarps like a, I think a $10 tarp they were great so you can't knock it for the price you know here's a shimog this is a cheap shimog we've been getting rid of our cheap shimogs and getting going over going transferring over to the military grade the heavyweight ones and this is just an extra strap that I have no idea what it's doing in here. But you know what? You can use this just for, for an old camera, I believe, or a camera case. And uh, you can put like a bunch of little logs in here. If you're going to make a fire, strap it down, toss it over your shoulder, or just carry it to get back to camp. And I do have a flashlight here. Let's see, it works. It's just a single AA battery. It's about a three watt, just for an emergency. And let's get into the bag, guys. There's another tarp. I usually use a tarp for the ground, and if I do set up a tarp, then the other one's for shade, of course. So there's two tarps. <clears throat> oh, look what I can use for my buttocks. This is a. Um, Oh, there's uh, some aluminum foil for, I guess, for whatever, just in case. You can use it for your fire, you can use it to boil water, maybe even signaling. Depends, you know. It doesn't weigh anything and it doesn't take up any room, so I don't mind carrying it. This is a little, like, sitting pad. I can these, get these on eBay, and since this is concrete and it's cold, I'm going to put them right there. This is a, there's no Crown Royal in here, I wish, I'd be having a shot right now. But this is like a ditty bag, just accessory bag. And we have a mosquito net. We have a camouflage 100% cotton bandana. Can never go bad wrong with bandanas. And this I believe is a Nathan ferro rod I forget which one it is I'm not sure if it's the Kong I think they're six inches by three eighths you've seen my video where I built the huge handle of it out of fat wood that's also a Kong from Nathan 4071 again and yeah, this one just has duct tape around it I love ferro rods and Nathan by the way has not only an eBay store but he has a uh, YouTube channel as well. Go check him out. Very nice guy. He's got very reasonable prices and uh, quite a variety of strikers and ferro rods. And this is the, correct me if I'm wrong, please, uh, the Trekker, the Tornox. And it's got the, this one's partially serrated. I'm not a fan of that, but it works. And it's got your typical flat head screwdriver there. A can opener, bottle opener, bigger flathead screwdriver. And I know it's got something I like. Yeah, that saw is a ridiculously sharp saw. And it's one of their bigger saws, the Victorinox or Swiss Army. And back here you have your Phillips. You see the Phillips? I'm, I'm not camera savvy right now and coordinated. And you got something else over here an owl very very sharp owl if you're familiar with the uh, Victorinox knives right here very sharp owl 
and what else we got? We got your the typical toothpick and the tweezers. That's it. So fantastic knife, man. That's ridiculously well built knives. What is this in the magic bag, guys? This is old. What is that? That spice. Um, that I can't think. Old Bay. There you go. I had to smell it. <laughs> this is Old Bay seasoning. Love Old Bay. You can use it on anything or everything. Here's a uh, small uh, ceramic rod for touching up your knives. Just a couple of swipes of this. And be careful if you do have a Scandi, you don't want to convex it. Just very lightly. A few passes of that. And keep your knives razor, razor, razor sharp. So there's that. Here is a 100% cotton camouflage head wrap, or skull cap, that they call them. It's a lighter, a big lighter. Yes, it works. Try out your lighters once in a while, guys. Make sure they work. Oh, these are those bobby pins, the ones that girls use. And I'll sh show you what I use these for. It's a nail file. Also, girls use these. But guess what I use it? To touch up your knife too. If you damage your knife a little bit, then this is not gonna do it. So go to this. It's got a coarse side, a fine side. If you don't need to use this, don't. This is all you need. Take off your belt. A couple of passes on your leather belt. And she's good to go. And that's it for the little ditty bag. I carry an accessory pack. This has uh, chili flakes hand wipes, uh, water flavors, there's a candy in there or something, so yeah, just because I can, why not, it's another flashlight, these are really nice, look it's got that red flash mode, there's another light. MRE military spoon. Um, a roll of one inch gorilla duct tape. A piece of some very funky red fat wood. This is a little plastic. You can use it as a to put your equipment on if you're in sand or mud. Uh, you can use it to cut something if you're gonna cut like an onion, what have you. This is the little the little famous five dollar cup from Walmart. I love these things. I have a lid for it. This is not the lid to my Stanley cup. You can buy these on eBay, various places, maybe Amazon. It's perfect on there. And inside of that, of the cup, I had a, this time we're rocking a chicken and cheese enchilada progresso with a dash of that Old Bay and a little bit of that, that little packet of crushed pepper. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And we got two, I believe these are about 17 ounce stainless steel bottles, single wall. The dog spray, remember? So I got a little bit over a quart of water over a liter. I have a poncho, nothing fancy. Just in case of an emergency, because the water can't be cold and you don't want to be soaked and carry extra weight. This is my 
you dig it this is a brand new one because of course i haven't used it i don't use the bag much you dig it knockoff they work great for a cat hole i mean you can start your fire here these are very shiny you could use it as a as maybe as a signaling device also and right now that i looked up the moon is still up there guys i'll show you look let me get you up see if we can get a glimpse of the moon there it is you see the moon right there and the sun hasn't peaked out of those mountains yet but it's on its way so you can see everything and this is well let me show you this this is a more of a forester with a kitex sheet you guys have seen this i love more nice it's got a huge handle it's, it's the same as a more black i like it very very comfortable very lightweight and for the price you know you can't beat more very nice taco style kitex sheet it's very tight in there very nice leave it out so you can <clears throat> get a glimpse of the shiny blade and this is um, I believe it's denatured alcohol don't quote me on that or it's Coleman fuel one or the other and it is for an alcohol stove I don't use those much but I did buy an Alox stove with this stove stand I didn't like the stove because it leaked so I went ahead and bought another one it's similar to the Trangia it's not a Trangia and like I said and I don't use it much and now what I just do I just carry the fuel here if I have any left over I'll just put it back in and this bag is a very nice little bag but it is tight fit and I have some paper clips in there also, which go in conjunction with these. Either I use the bobby pins or the paper clips, and you'll see for what in just one minute. Not literally, I hope you guys are not really coming that minute. Anyways, you guys see everything? Here's my little bag. Okay, this is a the Alux, oh this is Alux, maybe I switched it, this is the Alux stove, and it comes with the simmer, you know the little simmer control thing, but it does leak so you can't store fuel in there, and I have used this, this I have used, the stove, and oh, now it's sealed very well, it does have a o-ring in there, but it works very very nice, just you can't I don't I wouldn't trust it to transport fluid in there I understand the trangias you can but then again they're higher quality stoves they're a military issue I believe uh, look this thing is leaking on me it's got residual fuel I guess this is a stand that it comes in of course you put your pot up there but see like this would like sink in there I don't know if you can see that so what I do, you know, I repurpose these, and you can get these on eBay also for like, they're like, you can get five for like 10 bucks or maybe five for five, I don't know. Very inexpensive. They have several sizes. They're all computer fan grills. And you can just sit it like that. Put your pot on there, you know, with a stove. Your stove goes in there, of course. You light it. Put your grill on there bam you can put your progresso can or what have you it works the reason I carry the paper clips and the bobby pins they do not weigh anything and they do not take up any space and just to show you a quick example of exactly how I use them I took out two of them. You don't need maybe just two. That's it. 
because it's got four pegs the little stove stand has four little pegs so you could get a bobby pin and stick it in here this guy had given me a great idea to put some just some uh, like a cotter pin type thing another person had told me I could use uh, just little screws and they're all great ideas guys I love that interaction that's what YouTube is all about and I was sharing ideas So, well, I don't know how to use bobby pins, obviously, but okay, there. See, you put your bobby pins in there, and this is like a little bit more stable now. You know, it's not gonna move. But yeah, you guys get the idea, right? Bam! There you go. And a little bit more about the bag it's got a rubber type of material in the inside you have two pockets in the sides uh, they fit these water bottles perfectly plus a couple of other items you still have another little pocket in the back that's where I carry the poncho and the seating pad or what have you and then you have your main compartment here so you know and it's got attachment points it's got your military number there it's got 1197 that's the manufacturing date and it's even got a phone number and then this has april 2001 so i don't know if that's if it was refurbished or what and then here it's got a price oh look 19.99 there's a price tag still on there and you have four drain holes on the bottom that's where i have my paracord you can attach a blanket you can attach a tarp a small sleeping bag uh, or uh, you hammock guys you know a hammock anything you know I mean, it's up to your imagination and it's got these loops here you can also on the lid on the top you can attach something these I got a carabiner here these in the back from what I understand they're too attached to bigger German gear right here uh, I don't use them I was gonna take them off, but I ah, just leave them. But it is very, very thick material. Very nice little bag. I like it. And they have another little. Ah, that's real. Ridiculously hard. I've never used this, but I guess you could use it for something. It's got a little loop. It does have a button here. You know, you just compress. Put a dab of that three-in-one oil or. A the little spray of WD-40 on these snaps and they work great for you all of you guys that use that Alice bag <laughs> and uh, and that's it guys that's my haversack and I'm doing this again look and see another little repair job right here right there but uh, they're almost invisible the repair jobs and uh, very nice little bag I am very very happy with it uh, you could even carry it in your vehicle for uh, an emergency little bag or something, you know. But hey, uh, thanks for joining me on this cool morning. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for all my viewers. Thanks to all of my subs. I got fantastic subs. I mean, I have the most the, uh, amount of subs, but I do have great, great subs. I love you guys. Thanks again. And we'll catch you on the next one, man.